Sierra Leone's main opposition party says the November 17 polls, won by incumbent President Ernest Bai Koroma, were marred by widespread fraud and says party leaders will meet on Tuesday to consider a possible appeal. The opposition Sierra Leone People's Party stopped just short of outright rejecting the election results, which showed Mr. Koroma winning a second term with nearly 59 percent of the vote. SLPP candidate Julius Maada Bio, a former military junta leader, finished second with about 37 percent. Mr. Koroma was sworn in for a second term late Friday after provincial results released by the National Electoral Commission, established the margin of victory. Now joining us via Skype from Virginia is Jacob Conte, an independent journalist from Sierra Leone. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Conte, today. Thank you. So is it fair to say that uh, based on the outright win by Mr. Koroma that uh, voters in Sierra Leone thought he was qualified and credible to take another term? Yes, I mean, Mr. Koroma built the country you know step by step if we can go back uh, this was the first elections that was conducted by sierra leoneans the last two elections after the war were conducted by the u.n and as you said at the beginning these elections were free and fair we all followed the, the results in fact for the first time we we're able to listen to the results from sierra leone radio and uh, to all my understanding, this election was fair. I mean, the, it was transparent. The votes were counted right there at the stations. So I'm kind of surprised that the opposition is still denying the results. But I think eventually they will come to understand that the people of Sierra Leone have decided and uh, they are going to accept. Well, I've got the margin of the election alone, 21%. That should really make it clear that uh, even if they are to do a recount, mm -hmm. they cannot make up that gap. Well, obviously, um, the opposition is still considering this, and they, they say they'll meet tomorrow to make that decision. But meantime, what does that threaten in terms of Mr. Koroma's call for unity in the country? He's asked uh, Mr. Mr. Bio and other opposition groups to join him in uh, going forward. Well, the opposition knows that the people of Sierra Leone are tired of uh, the bad image we've had. Uh, living here in America, usually when you tell somebody you are from Sierra Leone, the first thing that comes to mind is blood diamond. And we are tired of that image. And they know pretty well that if the country doesn't do well, everybody suffers. So I'm very sure that at the end, they will come to the realization that they cannot take us back to chaos. We are ready to move forward. And uh, this president has done all he can to change that image of blood diamond and cry free town. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't only win in uh, the North. But, but he won a seat in every part of the country, one in the south, mm -hmm. the east, the west, and the north. So the first, for the first time, we have a president who is ready to unify the country. Mm -hmm. so now, Mr. Conte, we, we have a yes. limited time left, but I want to go into some of the issues that Sierra Leoneans are concerned about and that Mr. Koroma said he's going to address, largely the issue of uh, employment for the youth, bringing back investment or upping the investment, and also ending corruption, which he's been accused of not doing enough. Uh, what are the chances that those will be taken care of and the challenges that he might face? Well, on the corruption, I think he's done much more than any other president before him because for the first time in Sierra Leone, we had government ministers sacked, fired for, you know, for corruption. And for employment, I think the modalities are already in place because um, with the mining sector, he is going to really use the youth. And I've already seen the new educational structure and uh, I think at the end of the day, many of the young people now roaming in Freetown will be able to get employment. And uh, the unifying is going to take place. As I said, this president spent more time in the East mm -hmm. than in the North building structures. And on so, that note, Mr. Conte, uh, thank you so much. We've run out of time, but uh, we appreciate Jacob Conte, an independent journalist who is from Sierra Leone but lives in Virginia, giving us a post-election account. Thank you. Now, we invite you to tell us what you think of In Focus and comment on our reports. Just visit us on our Facebook page, VOA In Focus. If you're not a member, just click like and watch for our daily updates.